Guys, we are back with the screen team right here on KWOC. It's a full hour of movie reviews for you. Thank you so much for listening on KWOC. And also, I want to remind you, if you want to get an up-close, personal look at uh, your movie reviews, Screen Team has our very own YouTube channel. You can check it out. <laughs> screen Team of Poplar Bluff on YouTube. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, all over social media. Check us out. Uh, we've got a full hour of reviews, like I said. Our first review is a movie that uh, was very, very big in the early 1990s and it's a movie about a pig you were just a baby then weren't you i was 15 i mean <laughs> i guess maybe you might call that a baby how you probably were you? weren't interested in watching this movie how old were you adult <laughs> um the funny thing is is i don't remember if i was interested in it or not but i definitely <clears throat> excuse me i definitely did see it and my parents did not own this movie and i watched it like a million times so i'm familiar with babe i enjoy the film Babe, and Babe centers around a pig who um, is born, it's kind of the runt of the litter, and he goes and lives on a farm, Far, uh, Farmer Hoggett, I think is his name, <laughs> yep. and he's learning about life as a pig and where he where he stands in the structure of the farm. And it's in the English countryside. Yes, yes it is. <clears throat> where they have um, sheepdogs and sheep and... And uh, they have competitions with their sheepdogs. So what's a pig supposed to do on the farm? Uh, He has no job other than to eat, get fat, and serve his purpose on the table of the farmers. You mean like bacon? Pretty much. Mm. Chops, you know, some of that stuff. But I guess guess Babe is meant for for a lot more than just that, right? Well, Babe was one at the fair, Mm -hmm. but still intended for that very purpose. Get fat and get get slaughtered <laughs> basically yeah <laughs> pretty much yeah uh but for, for whatever reason farmer hoggett decides that there's something odd about this pig and and farmer hoggett's <clears> odd, <throat> odd too he's odd he's a very odd duck too uh, but they they live out in the countryside and he's quiet very man a man of very few words mm-hmm. and um he you know he handles his affairs swiftly sometimes and uh without hesitation but, you know, he also puts a lot of thought into other things, and, and his, his sheep competition with his dogs is definitely at the top of his list, and in fact, it, for quite a few of them. And uh, so he has his dogs trained for his sheep, but there's also um, people that steal the sheep, you know, and the dogs are supposed to alert the farmer. And, well, for whatever reason, this pig gets adopted by one of the dogs. By the mama dog. By the mama dog, because... Um, he's cr- crying and he's sad and he doesn't know where he is and what he's supposed to do because he was just a baby when they took him away. Right. <clears throat> now, in this movie, of course, all the animals talk and um, he, he, uh, he starts picking up traits of the dogs with the sheep. And the sheep don't like the dogs. They call them wolf mm-hmm. because they bite at them and they're rough and they're mean and they're strict and babe's just a little gentler than that and all of a sudden the sheep start listening to him and do whatever he asks because he's polite oh what a polite young man we'll do whatever you ask you (laughs) (laughs) farmer hoggett finally realizes that this pig has the same abilities as his dogs when he notices that he's separating and corralling the chickens and so he takes them to the field one day and i'll be doggone if the sheep don't listen to the pig <clears throat> well, he decides to put him in the contest, and boy, does he stir up a hornet's nest. Yes. There's, there's no precedence. It does not say it has to be a dog, and so he has to fight the powers that be to get the pig in the competition. And in the meanwhile, the wife's off to one of her, <laughs> her lady conventions or whatever, you know, and <clears throat> sees it on TV. She's horrified. She passes out. Yeah. yeah and he takes sure. the pig out into the field and uh, commences to compete. So, with the story out of the way, Babe, are you a fan of it? <clears throat> I love this movie. Yeah, it's so good. I had forgotten about it being available, and we hadn't introduced it to our son yet. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, he enjoyed it. Yeah, he did. He really did. And I think it was one that we could um, probably slide over into his section if he hasn't already figured out where it is. It needs to be back over there again, because it's a good movie. It's fun. It's entertaining. It's It can be lengthy for a toddler, you know, to pay attention to that long. But there's so many fun little things happening. It's like lots of little mini episodes all at once. So it's true. Um, do you have favorite <laughs> scenes from the from the from the movie? Um, I'd forgotten how funny the little mice were. <laughs> yeah, the bunny. The mi- what about the duck? 
The duck who thinks he's a rooster. The duck that wants to bring up the sun. Yeah, he's pretty funny. Yeah. I I like the dogs. I like their story. Um, and the sheep are are fun. They're not the to me. They're not the highlight because um, you know, Babe obviously is supposed to be the highlight, but. I like the interaction between like the the dog and the and the pig. The the animatronics though with this oh, yeah. movie is top of the line for in the 90s. It was just it was uh now they'll computer animate that kind of stuff, but then they were all puppets. And the th- the thing is, is you can't tell what's the real <laughs> pig, what's the fake pig. You know, it's it's they did such a good job. You can't you can't hardly tell which is which, and that's 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 the mark of a you know yeah. Good special effects yep. for sure. Yeah, there's no and there's no um, digital uh, special no. effects in this movie, so everything you see is actually really in front of the screen, uh, the camera. Very, very true. There's always one part in this movie that always scares me. Always scares me. Even now, I'm 30. When he takes him to the shed. No, 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 oh. no. It's when the cat comes in. Oh. <laughs> and the cat is just like real coy and just you know very uh, seductive and catty. very coy and very catty and. Basically tells Babe that uh, what his purpose is. Yeah, what his purpose is. There's always that one kid in the class that, that wants to tell creepy. you what you're really there to do. That cat is creepy. But the rest of the film, <laughs> so so good for kids, for adults. This is definitely a, definitely a home run hit for everybody. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Movie is called Babe, and you can find it on uh, DVD. Coming up after the break, we're going to review the Michael Keaton film The Founder. It's next on KWOC.